This is Sherry Boshert reporting for Global Medical News Network at the annual meeting of the American Diabetes Association. Dr. Paresh Dandona reported on a study of liraglutide for patients with type 1 diabetes on insulin. Liraglutide is a drug that was uh, licensed last year for treatment of type 2 diabetes and it works beautifully in type 2 diabetes. But when it got licensed and came into practice, we wondered whether through its action on the suppression of glucagon, whether it could have a significant effect in type 1 diabetes. And what we are presenting here is an experience with 14 patients who got given this drug and had dramatic improvements in their glycemic control. And the most significant component of that improved control was reduction in glycemic excursions. You can see that before liraglutide, even in a well-controlled diabetic, the massive oscillations, you start liraglutide and within the first 48 hours, the glycemic excursions settle, the overall control improves, and without an increase in hypoglycemia. And what is exciting is that in addition, there is a reduction in the dose of insulin required by about 25 to 30 percent. Were you surprised by these findings? We were shocked by these findings, very pleasantly, but we were absolutely amazed. And then those patients who continued for six months, 24 weeks, had a weight loss of 4.5 kilos as well, in addition. So since these days, 50% of Americans with type 1 diabetes have the metabolic syndrome. It is really another uh, additional point in favor of this, this type of therapy. So what's the catch? It all sounds too good to be true. What are the limitations of this study? So the limitation is that we've not as yet tested in it in really very badly controlled type 1 diabetics. These were well-controlled diabetics who got even a better control, but I was very keen that in the first instance we tried the drug in meticulous patients so that our effort would not be lost. We tried it in these meticulous patients and it's worked. And the next thing is now to set up a randomized controlled trial to examine how more uncontrolled populations with type 1 diabetes would, would respond to this kind of treatment. Is it too early for clinicians to be considering off-label use of liraglutide in type, type 1 patients? suggest that except in the hands of expert endocrinologists who know their business well in terms of continuous infusion of insulin pumps and in terms of continuous glucose monitoring. Reporting for Global Medical News Network, I'm Sherry Bosher.